Hello, friends. Welcome to the Nova Coach Podcast. I'm your host, Suzanne Kohlberg. <sighs> Today, I want to chat about trajectory, which is a very challenging word for me to say. But as you know, if you've listened to this show before, I never shy away from something I can't pronounce. We we tend to be really of a time right now where we want instant results. And I don't know how much of that we have to thank Amazon Prime, same day delivery for, but we tend to think like, I've changed this thing. Uh, where are my results? Like I've recorded this episode. Where are my thousand downloads? I've written this book. Why am I not at the top of the New York Times bestseller? I've started a YouTube. Why do I not have a thousand subscribers? And where we are in any given moment is nowhere near as important as the trajectory that we're on. When we start to take actions, record podcast episodes, publish a book or blog articles, guest interview on other people's shows, write a weekly newsletter, start our YouTube, whatever the action is, there is a delay. Sometimes that delay can be months, years. If you're new to my show and you're watching on YouTube, over my shoulder, part of my branding is a pineapple. And if you're listening to this on the audio, the pineapples are the right way up. People often say, do you know what an inverted pineapple means? Yes, I do. No, that's not what I mean by it. But pineapples take a long time to grow. 18 months. That is a hot minute. Many of us don't stick to something for 18 days, let alone 18 months. We try something, we don't get instant results. And so we're literally quitting and trying something else and trying something else and trying something else. And none of these things have time to gain traction because we're not sticking with them long enough. Or when we do start to see results, we don't know which thing it's from because we've tried so many things. Like which one of these is getting us the results that we're starting to get. Currently, uh, and this is a shout out and a thank you to everybody who has um, left me a review. This show is getting lots and lots of reviews on Apple. And thank you so much. And for me, it seems interesting because I haven't been recording episodes by near the frequency that I used to. Uh, for a year, for 365 days, I did a daily podcast. And now I do it maybe once, twice a week. Basically, um, I've coined, um, May K. Sang coined the term an intuitive release schedule, which is, you know, when I feel like it. And that may shore up into a more official schedule. In the back of my mind, I'm thinking I could do one solo episode a week, one guest episode a week, but I haven't firmed anything up yet officially. All that to say, the trajectory, like the reviews that are still coming in, thank you very much for everybody who's sending them, is a result of the effort I put in before. People are still coming across those episodes. If you're new to this show, this is episode 370 something. There is hundreds literally of episodes, mostly 15 minutes or less that you can tune into. And what I'm doing currently is going through past episodes and painstakingly, well, at least for me, writing show notes. For those of you who follow me for some time, I used to pride myself on having no show notes. I just turn up each day and talk. And now I've given into the peer pressure and the SEO crowd and, and putting show notes in for my prior episodes. What else I'm also doing is I'm dividing them up by topic, things like perfectionism, procrastination, vulnerability, business growth, personal development. And so on YouTube, I'm categorizing each of the episodes, not only in the podcast list, because if you're new to my work and you see 370 odd episodes, that's pretty freaking daunting. But you're like, actually, I want to learn more about procrastination or perfectionism, confidence. You can go and watch that individual playlist. That is a, that is a task. That is a task. But I just think it will be so much more accessible for people, especially people new to my work or people who just want to catch up on an area that you're focusing on. All this to say, the effort that I've put in, the episodes that I've recorded, still continue to pay dividends now, even though I'm not actively recording on such a schedule. 
and also hopefully maybe some of these playlists and SEO of the show notes are, are kicking in as well. So my invitation for you to consider, to think about what is it that you're working towards? What's your goal? And first question, are you actively working towards it or are you thinking about it? It'd be nice. It'd be nice. I know what it's like to think, oh, it'd be nice. You see someone doing something, must be nice. Must be nice to be, you know, recording your own podcast. Must be nice to, you know, work on your fitness. Must be nice to write a book. And notice yourself right there and then. People who are working towards something, they're not waiting for one day when they have more time because that's never going to happen. And they're actively making the time. And they don't need to, it doesn't need to take as long as we think it does. Like the Note Coach podcast that I released daily for a year, there was the 15 minutes of, you know, recording time and then making the thumbnail and then uploading. So altogether, it probably took... 30 to 40 minutes a day, depending. And I could carve that out because the thing is when I'm not intentionally spending my time, I'll be scrolling Facebook or Instagram or something like, you know, the time will be taken. I get to actively uh, choose where I'm going to make the time. So if you find yourself in the must be nice, where can you, you know, take charge of your time and even a small window, carve out 10 to 15 minutes to work towards it. And then where are you doing that 10 to 15 minutes and telling yourself it's not enough, it's not enough, it's not enough, and not sticking to that long enough to build the trajectory to get the results? Because as we said, pineapples take 18 months to grow, and sometimes you get results far and beyond when you've stopped actively putting the work in. As I said, the reviews that keep coming in for the show, thank you, everybody who's doing that. It, it makes my day when I see a review, when someone sends me a legitimate email or go to my contact page. That's my favorite place in the show notes. I can say that now because I have them is the link to my contact page. If you haven't already, please send me a message. I love my contact page. It's very unusual. Uh, most people choose the body option. You'll know what I mean when you click on it, but even if you just say, Hey, enjoyed the show or thanks for this or whatever, I appreciate that so much because I'll tell you 80 to 90% of my messages are just spam. There's someone saying, I could maximize your SEO. I could get you on the first page of Google. I could monetize your YouTube channel. All this promises that honestly sometimes get me down so much they make me want to quit my business. And obviously I'm in charge of my own thoughts and feelings. So, you know, it's it's a low day for me today as I'm recording this, but I'm just like, really? Do you actually watch the show? Sometimes people are kind enough to change the copy paste message that they no doubt send to hundreds of people and put hi Suzanne. But you know, when you see the messages like I can fix your show or whatever, I know that they send that same thing to hundreds of people and it's not personal. But if you're having a moment where you're not feeling particularly grand and someone says, you know, I could fix you, <laughs> it's not a nice message to receive. But once again, a snapshot of where you are, how you're feeling in this very moment is not indicative of your entire journey. So, you know, when you're having low mood days, um, you're feeling down, especially those of us in business, I have an episode on the show called Your Business Period. Check that out in the business growth section. If you're watching on YouTube, go to playlists, business growth, your business period. Watch that one. Where I'm going with this is if there's a day where I'm feeling tired or exhausted, I know that, you know, a good nap or a good sleep and I'll be feeling much better. Like, you know, I'm literally just tired today. So sometimes, you know, when I catch myself, when I am feeling down or in a low mood or like, should I quit my business and I hate everyone and everything because, you know, we all go there. It's just, what if it's just like being tired? There's nothing wrong. I'm not broken. If a good sleep will fix tiredness, maybe a pause or a checking in like what's have I have I overscheduled myself and trusting that this too shall pass much like a low mood does, uh, much like being tired does with a good sleep, a low mood will pass as well. And not to judge where you're going on the results that you see right now because it's often slow until it's fast, like the compound interest. When you start something in business, you can be like, you know, here and there, I might get a new like to my YouTube or I might get a, um, uh, 
review and then suddenly 10 people overnight. It just like jumps like that. And I'm, I'm, I'm sure the day will come where 100 people overnight, like waking up to like 100 new subscribers, that would, as where I am right now, that would totally shock me. <laughs> but down the line, I'm sure there are people who go up by hundreds, if not thousands of people a day. The trajectory of you know continuing to show up, continuing to put the work in, continuing to um, finesse and, you know, know that your best gets better. Because as I said before, I've said this a number of times, but it's so true. You can't get good at what you don't do. And so many of us, we're like, I'll do this one day. And we think that we're magically going to wait for the right time. You know, the right time when the kids aren't sick or they're grown or they left the house or we're feeling great or our relationship's wonderful or we've paid off our house or, you know, all these sorts of things. But there are always going to be ups and downs. There are always going to be challenges. And as I said, the whole point of this episode, the trajectory that we're on by continuing to show up, by continuing to take the actions, by trusting in where we choose to invest our time and energy and allowing that to change. So until this year, a lot of my focus was on social media. I had I used to post on Facebook multiple times a day. I, I, I dabbled in Instagram. I never really got strong on it. But for this year, for 2024, the time of recording this, I've all but given up social media. I don't currently enjoy it. What I do enjoy is YouTube. I enjoy podcasting. So this is where my focus is. What I love about these platforms and mediums is these videos and audios will be here hopefully for years to come you could stumble across this and be like, oh, this is amazing. Whereas Facebook, once it's left the the scroll, it's gone into the ether and, you know, it's lost. And um, But if you love social media, if you're up on stories and recording little clips and, you know, you really like being interactive and chatting in there, if that's your jam, then do that. But what you love to do gets to change as you change but allowing yourself to commit to the process to, you know, hunker down and do this for a period of time enough that you can develop this trajectory rather than trying to do all the things. Because if you are trying to do all the things, I'm going to write a book, record a podcast, guest on podcasts, do YouTube, do Facebook, do LinkedIn, do Instagram, do TikTok. To me, you just end up with like a dozen places where you're going to get spam. And if you're already feeling low or unsure to have more spam messages, is you know the least thing that you need but instead to pick the area that you want to focus on to narrow that down and to allow yourself to know that this is going to build momentum over time and where you are in any one given moment is never as important as the trajectory that you're on that my friends allows the magic to unfold because you can have low and down moments like you have tired moments and then you rest and sleep and feel better again. And then whenever you get the nice messages, the reviews, the actual emails from real people and not just spam, celebrate those, respond to those, enjoy those. Because, you know, I remember, I think it was um, Rob Bell was saying, you know, do you want life? Do you see life as an adventure to be adored or something to be endured? And sometimes we can feel like, oh, this is like, I know for me, Facebook and Instagram became endurance. This is my algorithm keeping up post. Nobody wants to read that. Nobody. But instead, you know, podcasting and now, as I said, going back through and updating the show notes and, you know, taking the SEO journey. It certainly is an odyssey. It's a lot of work, but, you know, the trajectory that I'm on. And also just a reminder of like all the work that I've done, like to allow yourself to be proud of that, to be proud of the effort that you've put in and not just the result, not to get caught up in the vanity stat of number of followers or number of downloads or things like that. But, you know, I'm putting in this effort. I'm putting out great content. I'm spending time on myself. I'm worth it. I'm worth taking a rest when I'm tired. I'm worth stepping back when I feel like, you know, I've, I'm feeling overdrawn or overcommitted. It's, it's powerful indeed. Thank you so much for tuning into this one. If you haven't yet subscribed to me on YouTube, I really would love for you to. There'll be a link if you're listening to this on Spotify, Apple, there'll be a link to my YouTube. It says something like way to make my day, subscribe to me on YouTube. My current goal for 2024 is to reach a thousand subscribers. I'm not quite halfway there, but um, 
yeah, that would be epic. So if you haven't yet subscribed to me on YouTube, please do. And also once a week or so I've been doing YouTube lives. So um, I've started doing them co-hosted. So kind of like come chat at the water cooler because most of my listeners or many of my listeners are solopreneurs um, and not everyone, but it can be kind of lonely. So we're just hanging out. And if that's something that you're interested in coming, hanging out and doing a YouTube live with me one day, if you go to my website and my contact form, fill that in, let me know that you're interested. We can totally schedule the time. Thanks for tuning in. Hope to catch you on the next one. Bye for now.